Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to be playing Evil Nun 2. I know how long it's been. It's been f three months since I recorded a video. And funny enough, that last video was about Granny Chapter 2. The first thing I talk about is how long it, it took to make a video. And this is the longest break I've ever taken on my YouTube channel ever. I know. I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. It happens. I didn't want to take a three month break. But I just, I just, I just did. And I'm, I'm very angry that I did though. Because, I mean, let's be honest, no one watched this channel. If you're watching this video, this is clearly a dream you're having, because my, cause no one watched my channel, but, like, why am I in the tutorial, by the way? I don't like that I'm in the tutorial. That's, but yeah, that's basically just something, though, that I really uh, don't like, though, honestly. I, that I keep taking breaks from my channel without even trying to. But anyways, uh, back to the game. We're gonna do the chapter, This is War. Um, and in order to start the chapter, we have to go to classrooms first. I have no other choice. I need to get rid of those mutant chickens. That's my impression of a guy that wants to get rid of those mutants. You like it? Alright, so we need the broken ruler, the glasses, which actually, we need to throw the glasses to get the lens, so I actually need the lens. Uh, so broken lure, lens, and Greenowski. Those are the items we need. But yeah, it's been a while. And I'm sorry for that. Like I said, this it, it isn't intentional. I really am not trying to take this long of a break, though. It really just happens, and I hate it when it happens, because, like, because then, like, I don't know. It's just, like, I'm not there anymore. It feels more empty when I'm not doing YouTube videos, because I really like doing YouTube, and when I'm not doing YouTube, I don't know. It's just... I want to do more YouTube, okay? I like doing YouTube, and I want to keep going with YouTube. And without YouTube, I I don't know. It just it just feels odd. Like I I, I just I and I yet I keep taking loads of breaks without even trying to. I just do, and I hate it when I do. All right, can I f please find something? No, jeez, game. I'm literally gonna kill you though. Jeez, okay desk. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this game. I will kill it. Alright. Is there anything in here, though, before I goddamn murder this game? Oh my god. Okay, it's in the other goddamn classroom, though, but I will I, I will kill this game, though. I will kill it. Goddamn game deserves it, though. Jeez. Why the heck is it messing with me now? What the heck did I do to you? Bullcrap game. Jeez. Honestly. Okay, I found the broken lure. Thank you, game. Jeez. I'll just slap you at this broken lure, like Baldy. Except the rule is actually not broken. Um, which honestly is a game I do want to return. I want to get the the true ending for Baldy's basics, but that's so guiding difficult. I actually tried to multiple times. Uh, by the way, we can put this in lever slots, so now we can go to the attic. And we're gonna go back to the classrooms. Unless Sister Madeline and Gummy, the meat and chicken comes in here, then I have to leave and go to a different room. Which, I don't know how these AIs work, but it just feels like they just randomly go into rooms. No matter how much noise you make, they just... They're here. They're here. Get the heck out! Alright, so we're gonna go to, uh... Mm, I actually don't know if gar uh, going to the garden's a good idea. Oh, you know what? We'll get the code so we can get the femur. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Can they please go away, though? Oh god, Mr. C saw me. Go away, Mr. C. Uh, and, and Roostail? Are you kidding me? Can both of you just go? Honestly. I... Alright. Yeah. Get out. Get out of here. Both of you, go eat a Kirby. Honestly. Slobs of disappointment. Two nine one one. Two nine one one. Nine one one. Uh, what's your emergency? Except there's a two in front of the nine. Two nine one one. Um. Okay. Who I'm about to? What? Okay. Two nine one one. There. That simple. Just four numbers. Two nine one one. That simple. Jesus me. Why are you so goddamn crazy all of a sudden? Alright. Two, nine, one, one. Hey! Alright, we got the femur. Alright. We will need this later. Just not now. It's just something I can do while uh, Sister Mantle and Gummy are in the classrooms. That rhyme? I I I I I don't even, I lost track of what I said. I don't even know if that line rhymed or not, but that sounded like it did. I could be wrong though. You guys decide in the comments, even though nobody watches my videos. All right, do we? Mm, I mean, I guess we could take like a short trip to the attic just to get the crowbar. Literally, that's it. Because we don't have anything for the attic, so we could just get something from the attic. And that's this good old crowbar, which is actually something we do need for the classrooms. Alright. Alright, making progress so far. Let's go back to the classrooms, because, I mean, they still might be there. If they're still there, though, they'll be shocking, but they could be. I think they're in the church now. Who knows, I could be wrong, they still could be here. If they are, that'll be very stinky poo-poo. How did that freaking drop that? I'll kill this game, jeez. Honestly, do you hate me that much? Game, jeez, what the- Okay, I thought that was something. But my goodness, game, what the heck did I do to you? Alright. Alright. I think- I think, uh, from what I remember- that bloody drawing, uh, alright, we got the greenhouse key, that very, like, bloody red drawing, um, like, makes one of the lockers have a red mark, which, the locker that has a red mark has, like, a clock in it, which we need the crowbar to open that. Which, by the way, uh, maybe, okay, this is my opinion. Disagree if you want. I think that's a stupid mechanic. Oh, open one of the, a random desk. It has a drawing. You have to look at that drawing, so one of the lockers can have a red mark, which is something you need to proceed to beat a chapter in this game. Or, or to make, at least make progress in the game. I mean, it does help you beat the chapter, but yeah. Give it what I mean. But it's so stupid, though. Like, why? Why do you need to look at a random drawing and a random... Especially when it doesn't tell you, though. That's just something... Like, that's literally something I had to look up, by the way. Like, this is some, like, hello neighbor crap, though. Jeez, like, it's so, like... There's literally no way of figuring out that. I know there are the hints, but, like, you literally have to watch ads for that, so not everyone's gonna look for the hints. I mean, they're there for a reason. Guess one way- wait, was this completely useless? There's nothing in here. 
Yep, screwdriver's here. Which I'll just get that then. Alright. Got the screwdriver and... Alright. We're gonna get the yellow padlock key. Shuffles over here. Shovel Knight done. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I will play that game uh, when we get back to the sub search. Which, by the way, um, off topic, but when I do come back to make a Nintendo Switch video, so the the wire cutters. Um, the first game I'll play is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I really, really enjoy the Kirby series. It's honestly probably like my, my favorite Nintendo series. So, playing Kirby and Forgotten Land, which, by the way, I haven't even been in yet. Honestly, you know what's funny? I legitimately don't... I haven't played a whole lot of it, and that's literally just because how much I want to make a YouTube video on it. I want to make more videos on more Nintendo games. Because I feel like I've only done a couple. I've done Smash Bros. Why do I feel like that's the only Nintendo game I've played on, on the channel? I swear. Shovel Knight is a Nintendo game. Um, it's an ending game made by Yatric Club Games. Um, but, yeah, I I, don't, I think Smash Bros. is the only game I, Nintendo game I played on the channel. And I've only played Smash Bros. once. I will do more videos on it, by the way. It should, I mean, Smash Bros. is a game that I'm not really into that much, so... A game I'm shocked that I haven't played on the channel yet is Splatoons. Um, it's a game I really enjoy. Um, I still play Splatoons 2 a whole lot. I'm excited for Splatoon 3. Maybe when the, uh, the day when Splatoon 3 comes out, I will make a video on it. Most likely. We'll see. Alright, we got everything out of the garden, so, uh, let's go. Let's go back to the classroom, though. We just need the glasses. And after we get the glasses, though, we will, uh, come back to, uh, this, though. Is there another classroom I haven't checked? Oh, I gotta check all of them, though, honestly. I checked this one. Okay, let rep Renmark Locker there. Right, what the heck? What are you doing? Alright. Ooh, oh my god. Is there a, I just gotta make sure there's a single desk that I didn't Oh what what are you doing though, honestly? Going on top of the desk, tisk tisk. You gotta check. Alright, so let's go in the fourth classrooms and there since they're in none of these. Can the glasses spawn somewhere else? Really? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Where are the glasses? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, and you're killing me. Honestly, though, where the heck? Oh, frick, they're here. Oh, frick, they're here. God dang it. And, okay, bye, bye, no. Get the heck out. Yeah, that's what I thought. No more, no, uh, freaking, oh, you're still in the chase. He's gonna sky discover your hiding spot. Yeah, frick you, game. Piece of junk. Uh, I guess what? Let's connect the battery. Is there really anything else you could do? Oh, I could use a screwdriver. I can also try to find the blue padlock key and the red padlock key. Which, we've, if we do get to that part, I'm gonna show you the dumbest, the dumbest placements for 
items ever. Because the yellow padlock key actually have... What is going on? Um, actually have good placements, though. Where it's like under dirt piles. You know where they are. You know you need the shovel for that. Like, you know what to do. Uh, to get the yellow padlock key. Red padlock key and blue padlock key. They're just in the floor of the church. Uh, once again, another thing I had to freaking look up just to know. And I'm not joking. They're just randomly, like, behind random chairs, random, like, just everything. And they're just hidden there. Like, that is the most, like, lazy placements ever, though. Like, no one's gonna freaking know it's behind a lamp or behind this chair or... Like, anywhere, no one's gonna know that. That's just, like, like, either they completely guessed, they watch ads for the hints, or they looked up, which is what I did. Like, the only real way to find this without, like, cheating, I guess, not really, not really cheating, but technically, I guess. Like, the only way to find out yourself is, like, by basically just guessing. Like, oh, it's specifically behind this random chair, or behind, like, like you know what I mean? Oh, for Rick, they're here. Oh, dear God. Oh, there you go. Look, red padlock key. Is anyone gonna find out it's right here? Like, who... What were the developers thinking, though? Why? Why would you place a, a very important item in the chapter just in the most random areas ever? Like, I guess developers thinking, oh, no one's gonna find this. It's such a good spot. No, it isn't. It's hidden because it's in a random area that no one's gonna think of. It's not a good hiding spot, though, because, like, why? It's it's so random and that's why I don't like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm it's my opinion. Maybe I'm getting a little salty, who knows? Cause I had to look up for that as well. So I don't know. I don't know. You guys give me your own your own opinion if you disagree, but personally I, I just don't like that. I don't like the mechanic of spawning a red marked locker just by looking at a random drawing in a random dresser. I also and I also don't like the idea of the red padlock key and the blue padlock key randomly being on the floor of a random room just there. Like it's such it's just like it's so bad. Like every other item has like like been, you know, in in a desk or in a locker, you know what I mean? But, like, then we just have items that are just randomly placed in the floor. Like, what? Honestly, just bad item, just bad placements, in my opinion. Glasses don't spawn the lockers. I'm just getting very unlucky with this guy thing spawned, though. What the, where the heck did it spawn? I swear, I've checked every classroom, though. Like, what the heck? Where is it? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this game. How the frick did I know- Oh my god, stop. How did I not notice that? Bruh, did anyone notice that? I want- Oh my- I know I'm asking for so many things at once, but I wanna know- I wanna hear your opinion on the god dang placements for blue power key and the red power key. Do they suck? Like I think so? Or do you disagree with my opinion? But I also want to know, did you freaking notice that glasses? The glasses were in that desk. Before I did? I I cannot believe I didn't notice that. I feel like the dumbest person on earth. That's so goddamn easy to notice, though. Like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know, but... Oh, frick.
Are they here? I think they literally just left. Alright, put this in the telescope. Yep, yep. I don't... You're, you're probably damaging the lens by scratching it that much, but whatever. It's in the telescope. Um, but yeah, there you go. Alright, we will need that later, though. That's gonna be a lot of... Hey, okay. Is there anything else we need to do? We have the clock mechanism. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Go to the classrooms, because we need the clock. The broken clock, which is in, which is behind the red marked locker, which I was just talking about. Uh, we need a crowbar to bust in that. Which, uh, I don't know why we can't use, like, the other items we have. We just specifically need a crowbar. N nothing else, n no nothing else matters, just crowbar. Like, can we, we can't use the femur or anything? We have to use the crowbar. But, I mean, it works. But, like, why only a crowbar? Okay, but we got the broken, bro can I speak? We got the broken clock. Uh, so yeah. Um, what else do we need? I mean, we need, we need the padlock keys. You know, the very badly placed padlock keys. Well, I already know where, where the red one is. I just don't know where the blue one is. I don't know why, but every time I play this chapter, I've never been in it before, but every time I always find the red padlock key for the blue padlock key. Oh, I didn't grab the clock mechanism. Alright, we're going to go to the church. I don't know if they're here. We're going to grab the clock mechanism. We're just going to just bring the clock mechanism. And then we're going to go back with the yellow padlock key so we can unlock one of the locks. Unlock the other lock with the red padlock key and we just got to find the blue padlock key which is also going to be in a very random area, like the red padlock key. Alright. And once we find that, we're going to unlock that locker as well, and then we'll get the the dynamite, which, yeah, that's, that's in the chest, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully they don't come into the church while I'm in the middle of looking for the blue padlock key or unlocking the locks. That would really suck. But I haven't, I haven't lost a life yet, so, feeling pretty confident. Famous last words, hopefully not, though, honestly, because that would suck. That would literally suck if that does happen. Alright, right, Pavlaki, right, this is such a stupid placement, though. It doesn't always spawn there, by the way. It spawns in other ridiculous spots in this, uh, room, always just under or behind something and on the floor in this uh room and it's just so stupid like no offense but i feel like the de developers are very lazy with these placements they're not good at all and i found the blue padlock key all right let's go We got the dynamite. <sighs> Sister Madeline's only chased me once, though. Which is good. Alright, where do I connect this, uh, broken clock? What, what? There you go. Where's the clock mechanism? Oprah, where? What the heck? Oh my god. Where is it? 
There it is. Thank God. Thought that was a lens or something, but I then I realized. Oh wait, lens is already in. Okay, we got homemade bomb, which we aren't gonna use yet. We need to use that for later. All right, so here's what we need to do with the femur. Uh, we gotta ring the bell. Ding ding, ring ring, bing bing. Oh, wait, that that's not a gun. That's that's a bell. Let's go, bing bing. All right, and okay. Well, she's not here. All right, we're only able to do that the femur. I guess our hands are like dinosaur hands, though, because I pretty I would be able to reach that with my hands. I guess either our arms are too big to either. No, then just open the window more. I don't know what's the issue though. I I I would my arms would be able to reach that. I don't know why we have to need a femur to reach that, but okay then. So then we go to the attic unless they're in the attic. Let's hope not. Or let's hope they don't come into the attic while I'm in the middle of this. And they do. So, which means I'm going to have to do this, uh, later. And then Gummy finds me. Oh my, what the heck? Oh, bro, the game just cheated. What the heck? She was nowhere in the room. You guys, guys, check that right now. She was nowhere in the room. There was no way up. She literally had to have literally spawned in there. There, there was just, bruh, that's bull. That's absolute bull. Like, I feel like every time I die, it's always because of bull crap happening. She, she comes in the room at the worst time possible. I have to go to the attic because I had. I heard that. Make sure they're not here. I don't think he's coming here uh, to deliver the ice cream, and then we have to like scare her to get the mink. Okay. All right then. That was bull though, because that that was literally bullcrap death though. She literally like spawned. Oh my god, where's the femur? Oh my freaking god. Game, don't do this to me. I literally yelled at the goddamn developers, though, if they freaking... Hi, like, alright, alright, alright. I'm sh... No, I think I still have it. Did I drop it? I did... Oh, oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. You know what I hope is good, though, is my goddamn life. I do not want to lose now. Literally at the end of the chapter. This is the last thing I gotta do before using the bomb. Right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Now, hopefully, they just don't come in the goddamn attic while I'm in while I'm doing that, or if they're in the attic right now. I just hope neither happens. I just okay. I need to do this. Hope the goddamn game doesn't frick me over, though. Cause that was bull. It's like a new. All right. This does take a while, which I hate. This should be immediately because, like, 
got, like, I don't know how the AI works. I don't know, like, she could come at any moment now. So, like, this is stupid. I feel like, like, um, Rod's dad, which is, uh, the killer, like, the bad guy from Ice Cream, which is another game that Complarence has made. Apparently, the Ice Cream universe and the Evil Nun universe are connected, so, uh, Rod's dad is actually, uh, there you are! Alright, he's gonna deliver the ice cream, and we're gonna scare her, uh, when she's on that, uh, when she's by that vent, which will go here. So we're gonna get the garden, and we're gonna get the main key, which is where we're gonna use to escape. Alright. Yep. I don't know what the heck they're doing, though. <gasps> Alright, we did it. Whew! Okay. Alright, now we got it. Yep, I know. I know, game. I know what to do. I've played this way too many times and lost because all the crap that's happened in this goddamn chapter. Yeah, yeah, my favorite word, chapter. Yeah, bruh. Oh my goodness, though. Chapter. All right, uh, all right. Let's hope they're not in the garden. I mean, if they are in the garden, it's not as bad as them being in the attic or the church while I was doing that. There's a vent. Of course they're here. Get the heck out. Whoa! Okay, they didn't. Okay, they didn't notice me. Either they got out, they were in the garden. I guess they just didn't make any noise. All right. All right, homemade bomb. Homemade bomb. How do you activate this? Yep. Alright, they're dead. Of course, Gummy's still alive. Alright. Alright, now we just gotta use the other dynamite to kill the other ones. Alright. We're close. We're close. Hopefully... I am able to destroy them. Otherwise, I will have to watch an ad. Which I'll have to turn on my internet. And the thing is, I don't know how it works. I know it doesn't work for Ice Cream 3. If your internet is off when you start the game, I don't think even when you turn back on your internet back on, I think you still aren't, it still won't work because your internet was off in the first place. I don't know. I don't know. I think it will give you ads, though. It just, you know, you won't be able to do that. What, uh, like, watch ads for rewards? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I don't want to watch a freaking ad just to win a freaking chapter, though. Stupid. Alright. Oh! Oh my god. <gasps> yeah! Roosters! Oh my god! We did it! We did it! We just gotta get the main key! Cause they're all dead! They're literally just dead. Well, until the cutscene where they just randomly wake up. 
no matter what, they won't get up, so it's kind of funny. So technically, they are dead, but you know, in the cutscene, it's, it's like they get brought back to life. I don't know. Because that can happen. Alright, yep, main door. Oh my god. I finally freaking beat this chapter, though. Like, this was honestly... <sighs> Glad I finished it, though. This was annoying. Because, like I said, just a lot of bullcrap happened in this game. What is this mess? I'm out of here. Frick you. And I gotta do two more chapters. Ritual to work. Yeah. Get the heck out, Sister Madeline. Get the heck out. Huh. You don't know how long I've been trying to record this video. One, I took a break that I wasn't even trying to. But yeah, just honestly, just very annoying stuff. Congratulations. Congratulations. You escaped from the school in easy mode. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I did play easy mode. It's because, like, I do play normal. It's just, like, normal mode, like, isn't even that bad. But... Like, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to be more calm. I just want to get this video out because... It's bullcrap. It's very- the amount of bullcrap that has happened to me in this game. Like, I mean, that first death we had, the first and only death we had from Sister Madeline, when she wasn't even in the room, and then I don't know where, she was just behind the door. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'm over-exaggerating. Maybe she did. I don't even know. But uh, it's literally like she she literally just spawned there. Absolute bullcrap, though. But either way, we finished it. There are two more chapters. This game has three. It's weird. Evil Line 1 had literally seven chapters. This game has three. Um. And honestly, they're, I mean, no, they're very different. Um, but most of the items, uh, in that chapter you use in other chapters as well. But there are different items, and there are items in that chapter here that, that I was playing that you don't use in our chapters. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I finally made a video after three months. I, I know it's been a while. Let's not talk about it, okay? I'm just going to do my outro and also ignore that uh, voice crack. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Boy, boy.